Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Capricorn Love Prediction reading for May 1st through May 7th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my loyal, kind, loving Capricorn. Show me, spirit guys. What's going on with my caps? Let's see what's going on. Capricorns, what you got going on? Let's see. Show me spirit, guys. Judgment card. Eight of Wands. The Strength card. The moon card and the ten of swords. <laughs> well, Capricorn, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me because somebody's coming back here. They're coming back, Capricorn. They're coming back. You're having conversations with this person, someone that you guys have not, have not been together, and they're coming back. This is someone that um, you have loved in the past. And I think the love never broke. Um, and they're coming back. You're having conversations. You're getting back together with them. You're loving on them again. And here they are coming back. And what's interesting is that they got you all wrapped up. And, and I hate to say this, but this strength card is here. This could be a Leo person as well because the strength card does represent the Leo sun sign. But what's happening here is that they're coming back. And they're telling you everything they want you to know. I mean, it's almost like they're, you know, you're, the strength card means that um, they're doing everything that you want them to do. Because the strength card means getting somebody on the same page, to be on the same level, to come in from the wild, to be with you. Someone that's been out there, maybe a little wild. And maybe that's why you broke up before. But honey, they're coming back. They're coming back. But oh, wait, 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 wait. They're coming back. Yeah, but here's this moon card. They're just still deceptive. They still full of crap. And you you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to be very honest with you. They're still full of crap. The moon card can represent the Pisces sun sign as well. Um, it can be anyone, but the moon represents Pisces sun sign. This person's coming back telling you everything. You you, know, you guys are loving on each other again. You feel like they, they have gotten it all back together. They're coming in. They want to be with you and be with you only. But, uh oh, no, they don't. They still full of, excuse me, ish. Because there's that moon card. And that moon card means it's illusions and deceptions. Um, they're still doing the same old thing, working that same old game. Like I said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And you know what? You're not going to get shame because guess what? This is one thing about a Capricorn. Listen to it and listen well. Once you get it, once you get to this point with the Capricorn, because here's a Ten of Swords, and it's a bitter, it's a betrayal. They feel like it's a betrayal. They're done. You're like, I don't give up. They are done with whomever this person is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, look, look at my throat. How it's, um, mm. Whoever this person is, you're done with them. Because guess what? They talked a good game. Same game. Same old stuff. <laughs> Nothing changed. Nothing changed. Nothing changed. They showed, they, they acted like they were changing, but nothing changed because there's still deception there. There's still betrayal there. But this time, this time, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. They're not going to get a chance. You're ending it because you see it. You see the deception now. It's like you're not, you're not, you got eyes. No, your eyes are wide open now about this person. And you don't give a flip. Let's see what the spirit guys are going to say. Because I want to see what additional information the spirit guys want to tell me. What has happened here? Why? Why did they come back and play like that they were going to act right? You know? Play like they're going to act right. Let's see. Show me. 
Why is this judgment card here? Just give me three to five minutes. I'm going to clarify the reading. Just give me three to five minutes and let me clarify the reading to find out. Why is this judgment card here for my Capricorns? Why is the judgment card here for Capricorns? Show me. Oh, I have four of cups. Yep, four of cups. <laughs> Four of Cups means that, you know, you're holding back all your love. You know, they're coming back, but you're like, <clears throat> they're coming back, but you're being very cautious. You're being very cautious. This judgment card, they're coming back, but here you are being very cautious. You're not giving them your whole heart again. You've, you've been down that before. I'm surprised they're even getting a second chance. You, I'm surprised you've been giving them a second chance. It's so unlike a Capricorn. But what I'm saying is they're coming back, but you're not giving them your total heart yet. You're, you're being very, very um, cautious. Cautious. You're cautiously optimistic about them. So let's see why the uh, Eight of Wands is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my Capricorns? Whomever this is. Why is the Eight of Wands here for my Capricorns? Oh, I have the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> now, this Wheel of Fortune for this, this is a karmic relationship. This is a relationship that you need to learn a lesson. And I told you, you're learning your lessons. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, <laughs> you're learning your lesson. But this Wheel of Fortune, you know, um, with this Eight of Wands, you're having these conversations with them. But this is a karmic relationship because you're learning a lesson from this relationship. The Wheel of Fortune, um, you think that things are moving in your favor. You really feel that. But this is, hear me well, this is a karmic relationship karmic very much so you need to learn something from this relationship when i say karmic there's something that you need to learn so let's see why this strength card is here show me spirit guides oh you have the six of pentacles the six of pentacles uh <laughs> they're being very kind and generous you know like i said they've gotten you back they're being very kind and generous this six of pentacles this or six of discs with this card, but six of pentacles. You believe them with this strength card here. You believe they're hey, they're coming back correct. They're coming back right. Even though you're cautiously optimistic, you feel like things are moving in your favor because they're talking a good game. You're caution, cautiously optimistic, but and they're also showing you that they can be kind and generous and all of the above. But remember this, Capricorn. When people show you who they are, believe them. When people show you they are, believe them. That's why this is karmic for you. So let's see why the moon card is here. Show me. Spirit guides, show me why the moon card is here for my Capricorns. Show me, spirit guides. Oh, the magician. The magician. Yeah. Huh. I'm going to be very honest with you. When I see the magician there, that's a manifestation card. It's a manifestation card because, see, I think this person knows that, they, that you've already figured them out. And what they're trying to do is just slip right up underneath that radar where you just don't quite see them for what they truly are. But you've already caught, you've already seen them for what they are. This magician card is there. That magician card is manifestation. And it's over the moon card, over the, this, this deception. They want you to look past their deception. They want you to look past what you already know. When people show you who they are, believe them. They have the same pattern. They're showing the same pattern. They start off really good, very kind, very nice, generous, loving, all of that. But guess what? This magician card, the manifestation, they want you to look past this betrayal. They want you to look past this this, this um, illusions, the illusions that they're giving. They want you to look past it, but uh-uh, not Capricorns. You cannot get over on Capricorns like that. When people show you who they are, believe them. The manifestation will not happen. So let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, I have the Three of Cups. Oh, that's not, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tell you what I see when I see that three of cups over that ten of swords. This is someone that never came in. This three of cups means partying, having a good time, wedding engagements. It can mean that as well. But what it means for this particular read is that this person is still out there doing what they were doing. They were still doing it, still kicking it. They haven't come in. They're still the same person they were when you left them. They still are the same person, but you've ended it now. You don't have to worry about it anymore. And they don't have to worry about it with you anymore because you've had enough. I'm done. It's over. Definitely over. Like I said, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. When people show you who they are, believe them. Here's a judgment card. They're coming back. 
somebody that you were with and that you loved on, they're coming back, but you're not giving them their total heart. The Four of Cups is there. You're cautiously optimistic about this person because you know what hell they put you through before. But here's the Eight of Wands here. And the Eight of Wands is you guys are having spirited conversation. You know, you might be even having some of those uh, intimate conversations on the phones at night. You know what I'm talking about. Wink, wink. And then here you have that Wheel of Fortune. That Wheel of Fortune... Um, because this person, I see you and this person, you have good communication as far as that's concerned. You always could be were able to turn each other on just by your conversation and your voice. That's very powerful, especially for a Capricorn. It's very powerful. Um, and then you have the Wheel of Fortune here, which you felt like things were moving in your favor, but more so, this is a karmic relationship. And it's karmic because, as I told you, when people show you who they are, you believe them. Capricorn, why are you giving this person a second chance to hurt you? You had to learn the hard way, but eh, you're, it's okay. You you figured it out because here's a strength card. You know, you're trying to get them to come in, but they're, they're telling you that they are ready to come in. They don't want to be out there. That's what they're saying. They want to be with you because they want to be kind. They want to be generous. They want to be loving toward you. But uh-oh, here comes this moon card, which can represent a Pisces person, can be any uh, sign, but the moon card does represent a Pisces sun sign, but what, and the strength represents a Leo uh, sign as well, um, but what, here's the moon, they're still deceptive though, Cap, they're still the same person, when people show you they are believing, they're still the same person, they want you to look past the magician card and manifest this relationship again, this magician card is that they want you to look past all this dirtiness, this deception, this cheating, all of the stuff, the nasty stuff they're doing, because see, they're still out there with that three of cups, they're still doing what they're doing, still being slick, going to parties, having, doing what they do, still out there in the streets, which is okay if that's what you want. But you want a relationship, and they are still, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Not going to happen. And then I have the Ten of Swords, and Ten of Swords means you ended this because they showed you who they were. They showed you who they were again, and you're not going for it. Yeah, you're not the one to go for it. Let's see what my oracles have to say about this relationship. What does my oracles have to say about this relationship? Show me, spirit guides. What do my oracles have to say? Let's see. What do my oracles have to say about this? Well, I can't get my cards to work. Hold on. Well, you know, this card keeps coming up, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go with it because it's saying, "Let go, let go of this person," which you've already ended it. You have let go, and it's also saying, "Yes, you're doing the right thing. Let go of this person, even though you may love them, you may still be in love with them, but let them go." That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Cap.